Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And let's play a game. It's called What is PETA going to get faux outraged about today? <laughs> uh, today's faux outrage is animal themed carousels. Because it's so much better to use real animals. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like Oh yeah, why why use that uh, wooden horse when you can go get a real horse? Man, and... You have to remember when they were making carousels originally, it was a time where they weren't having cars everywhere. Yeah. And so there was things were drawn like horse and carriages and stuff like that, you know? They're just, look, we're gonna talk about this because PETA, here's how it works. They basically latch on to something for attention to get attention for themselves, even if it's ridiculous, even if it makes no sense. They were trying to go after Pal World the other week. They've gone after multiple video games because they're Punxie trending. Phil all the time. They went after Punxie Phil. They want to replace uh, Punxie Phil with a coin. We do this every year. To flip a coin. They've been, yeah, they've been going after it Punxie. It was a robot last year, wasn't it? Was it a robot? I think so. You know, and we can tell you as, as people familiar with Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, that groundhog is not abused in any way, no. shape or form. He lives in a climate controlled groundhog condo. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I guess if you'd rather he be roadkill, I, you know, whatever, but he's treated better than any other groundhog in the state. So I'm just, except for Gus. Gus probably has no, a Gus mansion. isn't real. That's why you Gus isn't place. real? That's what their place filled Oh with. my God, Gus so isn't real? Place with a puppet. Because it's better to shove your hand up its ass than it is to use a real animal. Oh no, this is funny. So they're they're mad now because people are using fake animals on carousels. Oh my God. So let's uh, let's talk about this. Before oh we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, yeah, woohoo if you do. Woohoo. And yeah, I just talked about PETA uh, a couple of weeks ago because they were mad about Pal World. Uh, they were they were like, you know, you're abusing animals. Uh, let's do a vegan guide to Pal World. I'm like, how? How? You have to punch them in the face to get anywhere in the game, I guess. I guess if you're hitting them and not actually eating them, but whatever. Uh, this comes from the New York Post. PETA got on its high horse this week, calling on the country's largest manufacturer of amusement rides to stop selling animal-themed carousels. <laughs> The, no, you can't make this shit up. The Animal Rights Organization sent a letter to Kansas-based Chance Rides on Tuesday, arguing that using designs of horses and other animals for the merry-go-round unintentionally celebrates the exploitation of animals that are thinking, feeling, affectionate, playful, and social beings. But people, <laughs> people ride horses now. Oh my God! I By just don't a, understand like what the problem is. It's like if you're not using real animals. You should ride people. You well, should just they ride. say, you know, save a horse, ride a cowboy. So. You should ride cowboys. Yeah, there you go. We'll just uh, get, get some naked man on all fours and <laughs> just ride the damn. You can ride. No, you can't ride him. I can't ride. I'm not going to ride him. I, you know what? I don't want to ride a naked man. I don't want you to ride a naked man. <laughs> I don't want our the, kids to ride a how naked is man. degree from a horse to a naked man? I'm like, what would I they prefer? A naked man? I'm like, no, God, no. Okay, anyway. By eliminating... Yeah. Animal themed amusement rides. It would be a blow against industries that still use real animals for entertainment, like camel rides or dolphin shows. Right, right. Because when you're riding a carousel, you're thinking, I, by riding this fake animal, by this I'm fake encouraging animal. zoos and you know dolphin show places to to do you know to use real animals. That doesn't even make sense. So th that's, <laughs> that's, that's this this makes, makes as much sense as like vegan uh, meat, quote unquote meat, right? Because it's like, oh my God, guys, if you eat the vegan hot dog, you might, ooh, you might start thinking about real meat. So we can't even have the vegan hot dog. We're you know what I'm saying? About, we're going to talk about sausage in a bit. Well, I, I already talked about the ride the naked man. No, no. We're talking, well, somebody else did it in a pita. In a pita yes. Yes, we <laughs> so. will. PETA suggested to Aaron Landrum, the CEO of Chance Rides, his company only use objects like cars unicycles, rockets, or other designs like shooting stars, rainbows, or brooms. Don't cars pollute the environment in rocket ships? That reminds them of Elon Musk, and he's bad. And rainbows is just insulting to certain sects of LGBTQ people. S-E-C-T. Yes. S, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, sex. All Not sex, sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. No. <laughs> all you're animals. Like you're really old. Anyway. All animals are thinking, feeling, affectionate, playful, and social beings. Except who for form... honey badgers. <laughs> they're, not, they're not affectionate. And we, we identify as the, the honey badgers of uh, YouTube. Well, clownfish are about like the fish equivalent of honey badgers. So it's all good. It is true. People are like, oh, clownfish are so cute. And they're little. No, clownfish are vicious motherfuckers. 
And they can change gender when needed, but you know what? That's that's like our show because you never know if you're going to get us both or who's going to go one way or the other. <laughs> For all you know, we've switched places multiple times, <laughs> and you have no idea who's who. <laughs> you have no idea. Uh, anyway, this um, is animal themed carousel set sets reinforce the notion these sentient beings are simply here for our entertainment rather than individuals. That's not what it does. Um, you, you're right. We just need to make it people themed. People. <laughs> Put a little harness on a man, <laughs> ride him around. Uh, yeah. So get a choo choo train instead. This is this is stupid. Anyway, this is their, this is their latest stunt. Uh, we, you know, right after the Groundhog Day one. Here, um, this is from like ten years this ago. This is funny. These are the most tone deaf stunts that they've had several more. We're yeah, gonna talk up, about. It needs to be updated, but these yeah. were from yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, the boyfriend, this is number one, the boyfriend <laughs> went vegan and knocked the bottom out of me. This is funny though. So we were, uh, we were watching this. Apparently this, this woman has a neck brace and she can barely walk. She got railed too hard because her because boyfriend's vegan. been eating lettuce. And now his sausage is, you know, right. Can I say right. that? Yeah. I don't know. And and he broke her butt because. And so she brings in more vegetables. And you see the guy, look, a nerdy little troll. Like, you don't believe, I don't believe for one minute this guy. Oh, I believe he's vegan. Oh, I believe he's vegan, but I don't believe he knocked her ass out. <laughs> and that's a commercial. I didn't even see this one. I'm like, oh my God. He'll... I mean, the neck brace, you know, I I, I hate how, when I have to wear those. Sorry. But, but you know, he eats meat. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> You're going to taste it from the inside. I just, Whoa. I'm just like, this is so stupid. He'll trim vegetables so you can, you can screw harder. I just, he'll, I just don't he'll, even get it. He'll transform into a tantric porn star. This was an actual <laughs> thing to add. Breaking your neck and causing your body to go limp. The sex will be the Sex will be so mind-blowing. You'll wander aimlessly around in just a bra as you reflect on the violent sex you had the pleasure of subjecting yourself to the evening prior. And then you're going to bring in more vegetables because you can still walk. And that's the problem. Um, this doesn't even make sense. Like This is horrible. This is number two. This is 2003. They can never get away with this now. Uh, they said the group matches photos of factory farms with Holocaust inmates. <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah, it was banned, it was banned in Germany. Germany. I would hope so. Um, too fat for plan B, try plan V. So if you're too fat, try, try V. To, uh, oh my God. Here we go again with another Hitler thing, Hitler dog thing. My God, PETA. What the hell? Oh, this one's, this one's, you know, this one. Yeah. This, I don't even think I could show that. Well, it's on YouTube. No, I wouldn't show too much, but like she's wearing her coat and this guy starts beating her with a club. And this guy starts, yeah. Clubbing her and peels her, peels her coat off. This was, uh, now, to be fair, I am totally against fur. I don't think it's right to go and beat somebody with a stick, but you know, I think it's horrible, cruel. And just even this video making me think about what happens to animals makes me sad. That being said, you know, I, I, I don't, thought, I don't, I don't think it's okay to go beat people. I thought this was actually at modern day New York at first, but well, you know, um, it could have been. Yeah. So he beats her with a, I think I've seen this one before and he walks off with the coat. Um, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, they've done, uh, let's see, cooking mama. I remember mama this. kills animals and people were actually playing it. Ironically, like, no, this is a lot of fun. We're going to play this. I'm surprised they didn't get sued because actually is cooking mama. Uh, and it looks like Cooking Mama, and they haven't gotten sued. Are you sure I didn't get sued? Well, it's still up, isn't it? Oh, yeah, well, see, they, they, you're so pointless that they didn't even want to give you the satisfaction of getting sued so you could use it for media attention. Yeah, I think Taito, I think Taito makes you, Cooking Mama so games. You're so pointless, yeah. they didn't even care. Yeah, uh, it's got the logo, it's got the character. They could have easily, if this was like a Disney thing, they'd be all over it. Uh, Animal Crossing. Uh, they went after Animal Crossing a couple of years ago. They said that PETA warned vegan players... They shouldn't fish, clam, or sell bugs while playing Animal yeah, Crossing. Yeah, but you don't, you don't get to make it much money. You don't get to advance in the game. I mean, yeah. you can do it with fruit and stuff, but it's, it's easier to do the fishing. Look, you know, PETA has no right to say anything anyway because, you know, everybody knows what a joke PETA is. And the fact that there, you know, are statistics out there that show how many animals die in PETA's care. There have yeah. been cases where PETA have stolen pets off of people's porches and had them put down. Yep. Um, that those are actual cases. You can look them up, you know, I mean, it's just making stuff up. PETA is not well liked amongst most people. No, normal people don't like PETA. I'm just, I mean, they can't go out of business fast enough. 
they don't actually do much, in my opinion, to help animals as they as much as they claim they do. No, and they just look for shock. I mean, it's shock value. That's the Guam on to. It's like every month they come up with something else to be pissed about. But I was shocked at some of the the old ads. They're a lot more edgy than going after Animal Crossing or Power World or asking them to stop making carousel horses. You know, it was like, oh, my God, yeah, I can't believe that they got away with this. But. They do these stunts every so often because then they get attention for it yeah. and everything else. Yep. I so, just laugh at how stupid they are. <laughs> I don't know. What What if it was like PETA actually didn't exist? What if PETA was actually... A front for something else. A front for like the, money meat, laundering. the meat cartel. Or it's money laundering. They're going to pretend that PETA is a thing so they can donate money, in quotes, but <laughs> you're never donating anything. I know, right? Uh, you know, that, of course, isn't true, but it would be funny if it was. So we're going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.